I'm Joshua Moffitt. Today's the uh, 5th of September 2019. Uh, this is my the first portion of the uh, for the Codex lab in forming and molding the Codex. Um, class is FTT 114 for in distance learning. So first we're going to start off with going over the quick view of the materials they'll be using and then prepping everything else for the molding process. Alright, so what we have here real quick is the, the codex that came with the kit. I got some painters tape, some uh, spare wood for, for blocking, exacto knife or box cutter to be cutting the codex with, a way to mark it, a uh, straight edge, um, a quick kind of like rough draft so on a piece of cardboard so I can kind of just follow it, make sure I'm staying with how I want to design it. Uh, the actual mold press and then over here the uh, the oven I'll be used to heating up the codex with the safety mask also for safety parchment paper to put the codex on and a temper digital temperature monitor so I can check make sure I'm maintaining the right temperature for the codex so not overcook it. So first thing we're going to do we want to verify firearm is clear visually and physically inspect and also since it's a polymer uh, grip on this. We're going to go ahead and ensure there's no one, no ammo in the magazine and then place the mag inside of the pistol grip of, of the gun that we're going to be molding and then from there that way because the heat of the kydex could actually cause the uh, the polymer to heat up and actually warp so we want to keep the magazine in there while we're doing this. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and tape this up uh, and block it and then we'll move on to the next process with measuring up the kydex um, and getting it ready to put in the oven. So we've got the firearm taped up and blocked off so this block is where for the uh, the belt loop to retain onto the holster itself once completed on the back side we'll have it stand off to relieve room for the uh, to mounting it and then we have the block in for the front side post and then also this little bit blocked off but enough for it to recess in here for the majority of the retention to come into the trigger guard. Um, uh, from there we're we'll going to go ahead and measure up where our kydex is. So I've already made some pre-marks of about six and a quarter inches for material that I'm going to need. And then length was going to be six and a half inches and that'll give me enough material to use for the shrinkage of the kydex once it starts to cool down so we'll go ahead and mark this off really fast Seeing that I am using the rough side, the kydex has the two sides, which is the textured side, which will be on the outside, and then the shiny smooth side will be on the inside of the holster. Alright, we have that cut marked up. We're going to take our exacto knife. Go ahead and just maintain our straight edge so we make sure we cut a good straight line on here. And then come across the bottom. Once we get our cut made, then we can 
go ahead and get the kydex broken down. Then we'll have our sections cut out. Alright, so we'll take our excess and set that to the side. And so now we have the two, two pieces that we're going to be using. That will go on as such. Just like so. When we get ready to start pressing the kydex. So the next step what we're going to do is go ahead and preheat the oven between 350-380 degrees which this is preset for right at 350 so we're going to go ahead and start with 350 with the minimum temperature start heating our kydex up for about 10 about 10 minutes and then we'll go check on it the temperature with our thermometer make sure it's not to a melting point and then pull pull that off and then start getting it ready to go on the press while we're working kind of a little bit faster so it doesn't to maximize our cooling time and then we'll start putting our press and letting it cool for 30 minutes so we'll go ahead and get the oven started up All right, so we've had the oven off for a little bit so we're going to go ahead and take, check the temperature which it's counting down right now a little bit high so we're going to knock our temp down just a little bit all right so we're good on temp so what we're going to do is since we're doing a pancake style holster I've already got parchment paper laid on the pan. So with my texture side up, I'm going to insert the first piece, which is going to be the top piece. So when I pull this out, or I'm sorry, correction, this will be the bottom piece. So then I can flip it, set it on here, put the fire on onto the, the kydex, and then pull out the second piece, which is going to be the top piece, which will lay on top of the kydex, and I can get it in the press and start pressing. So what we're going to do, go ahead and start getting this in. And then we're going to layer another piece of parchment paper on the top. Just to prevent any type of sticking. Alright, we're going to let that sit in there for about 10 minutes. Until it's ready to go. And then we'll get it on the press. Alright, so... We're starting to see some movement on our kayaks. We go ahead and pull it out. And the first piece. The second piece. All right now we got them laid on here. And go ahead and start getting our press down. Grabbing our clamps. Cool. 
Make sure we get as much pressure on this as we can. So everything will form properly and let it sit for the next about 30 minutes to let it cool and then we'll check it out. It's been about 30 minutes so we're going to go ahead and open up the press and check on the mold. Kind of hear it cooling down. Get it popped off. Alright, so the back of it is done for where the uh, belt loop will go on. And then the front, there's a little bit of folding on it. But it looks like at the ends, it looks like it came back over the top of itself. So, um, it's something that we could try to work on to get, once we start getting the sketch, kind of fly that on here we will start getting it cut away and get a lot of the excess stuff off alright so pretty much we've got the, the firearm out it's cooled down we can handle it um, you kind of see where it's formed at the back for the blocking for the, again for the mount uh, a few shiny spots on here but a majority of that actually is going to get cut off so this within the sketch is going to be the remaining part of the holster that's going to, for the retention part. Um, putting the firearm in right now. It's got a good solid retention. You can hear it go in there. And just with these four clips or clamps that are holding it. Without well the extra kydex on here it's pretty secure. It's not going anywhere for now, so this will conclude the project for this week, and the next week we'll actually, I'll be getting into, actually we'll be trimming it down, the kydex and preset, putting all the holes for the retention, and then putting the uh, dialets in, and then the, the uh, belt mount for, for the holster. So, thanks for watching.